Hey everyone, welcome back to the shop. Got a little quick video for you today, just a montage of uh, footage that I've collected over my time and probably never showed it on air before. Um, so welcome, I've got a couple of stickers, a little uh, product that I bought to show you. So um, without further ado, let's get straight into it. Um, this week I've got a sticker in from Man Cave, that's Man Cave with a K from Matt. So thanks Matt. Matt's also got something coming up in the future that he's going to donate to the machinist community. I believe it's a small platform radio alarm drill. So stay tuned for that. Um, there will be some conditions with the free giveaway. Um, you'll, a, you'll have to be able to restore it and make a video on it. But anyway, we'll talk about more of that when Matt gets back to me with some photos and I'll give you another update later on. So here's one of the first tools I want to show you tonight. And this is a LED light with a clamp on it. And I've been using that on my lathe. I, I bought two of these from a company over here in Australia called, um, I think they were $20 each, something like that. And they're quite bright. I'm, I'm really happy with the look on it. It probably gives you a little bit of an overexposure with the, with the camera, but you, I'll plug it in and show you how bright it is. So that's gonna come in really handy uh, on the manual lathe and that. And, um, yeah, they're called Detroit um, Clamp LED Worklight. Now, about 25 years ago, I was working with an Austrian uh, fitter and turner by the name of Gary Stokel. I'm not sure if Gary's still alive today. I've lost contact with him, but he gave me this um, Iscar party by brand new um, with two brand new inserts in it and, and a packet of inserts, but I never had a holder for it. So I reached out to Artie over at Live Tools and uh, Artie was very kind enough to donate this to the channel. So thank you, Arthur. I, I appreciate that, mate. And Arthur's been great to the channel, both my channels in sponsoring giveaways and stuff like that. So thank you, Artie. So there's not many tooling companies out there willing to back, you know, home hobbyists, machinists and stuff like myself that, you know, that play around in the garage. So Artie, you're a good man. Thank you. Now, Michael Connor Woodwork put me onto these. These are some little uh, number and letter punches, stamps. They're three millimetres high. And Michael, I'm sorry, mate. So Michael contacted me in a text message. Hey, Aaron, I just bought these, these punches, these number and letter stamps, and uh, they're very cheap. I'll try and find the price and put it up on the screen here. And you wouldn't believe it. Michael ordered his first. Within the next day, they cancelled Michael orders and sent it to me. So, mate, I'm really, really sorry you got screwed and I had a win, mate. All right. Got some stickers in from Maddie, and we'll head over to the board. Okay, so um, let's take you some machining footage and I might even give you a bit of a dirty joke at the end. Righto guys, I've got my minus 3.5 dialed in on the DRO in the Z and I'm going to use the X in the auto feed to cut through that now. Now I'm using a carbide shell mill, commonly referred to as a face mill. It's an ISCAR product, it's got five inserts in it. I'm going to take that in one bite. I won't go too heavy on the feed rate, it, it should eat it like butter. And away we go. Always use the brake on your mill before you put your hand in there, guys. And that's bright mild steel, and that was a three and a half mil depth of cut. And uh, it's a little bit warm. Um, if you look on the floor over here, guys, it's chip heaven. Look at all those little blue chips on the ground, guys. That's the colour we want. The heat is coming out with the chip and not staying in the job. Using a grooving tool, I'll put a groove here as a thread release, so when I'm cutting the thread, it will drop into that. Okay, got it supported with the tail stock, got low RPM. I'm cutting, gonna manually cut this thread on the lathe and it's gonna be a 1.5 pitch thread.
So there's two old blokes sitting down the park and uh, they're old mates and they sit down for a coffee every day and feed the pigeons and stuff like that. And uh, his mate turns up and he's got this terrible look on his face and he hadn't slept the night before. And he said, John, John, what's the matter, mate? He goes, oh, Steve, he goes, I took Beryl to the doctors yesterday. And uh, he goes, yeah, well, what, what, what happened? He goes, well, the doctor, I can't remember what the doctor said. She's either got Alzheimer's or AIDS. Steve goes, oh, mate, you're in a real pickle. He goes, look, I'll tell you what, put her in the car, drive around the block a couple of times, let her out down the end of the street. If she makes her way home, don't f*** up.